What's up, guys? Let's see. It's that okay. Really no, no, it'll go back on. Okay. It shuts off for a second. There we go. What's up, guys? How's it going? Wow, did someone really already buy the shoe? Really? I guess wow. so. Hot I guess so. It did. <laughs> Dang. All right. Well, that's good. Cat's out of the bag, I guess, on that one. What is up, guys? Sorry that I'm late. We were rushing. Rushing to get stuff done. Uh, trying to get some new stuff up on the website, which is up. Trying to get prepped for painting Ichiro version 2, which will be right there. I've already done the reference layer. I actually did that at the same time that I painted this. I painted that reference layer, but then I decided to kind of just go hard on that cardboard one. So, Ichiro is my next card up. Uh, again, sorry that I'm late, guys. We are just setting up. Took longer than expected. Um, is what it is. So, appreciate you guys sticking in and some of you guys, uh, you know, spending your Friday night with me, which is very nice. So, we're going to do a little more painting tonight. We're working on this card right here Ichiro Suzuki. That's why I'm wearing the Mariner's cap. Uh, also, I was rocking this last night when I painted the Russell Wilson Seattle Seahawks. Sent that to the the customer, the auction winner from the charity auction, and uh, she seemed very excited about it. It's for her son. So that's good. What's up, Gags? How's it going? Abraham, Grant, Michael, Eric, Brian, Scott, David, Andy. Andy, man, thanks again for that Vegas plug. That was really nice of you. I signed a Beckett for you today, by the way. We got to get that out the door, but we're going to send you a nice care package. That was That was a power move. Um, for those that don't know, uh, Andy was very generous and sent uh, a care package to Andy and I's room in Vegas after the stream when we did the card break, which was really nice. And I really appreciate that. Okay. So we'll get the volume cranked up. We don't have the mic today. We're just kind of bare bonesing it. It's all good. It's all good, man. What's up, Gags? Yeah, I just walked in. Well, we just walked in, too. We just finally uh -huh. we finally got started. We were running a little behind. I tweeted the very last second, like one minute before 10.23, saying I was running about 30 minutes late. Reason why um, I had we had to set up all this stuff. Um, I also have some new stuff on my website, some original works available. At uh, some point later in the stream, I'll go through them and I'll show you. I could show you, I guess, now. So these are all of them that are available. So we have, let's see here, if I can get a finger where, here. So this shoe, we sold the other shoe a couple weeks ago. Apparently that one already sold, which is crazy, but cool. It wasn't bots, I promise. <laughs> we have a Cristiano Ronaldo painting. This, uh, Muhammad Ali kind of abstract piece. I love I absolutely love this piece. It's also huge. I will uh, I'll show you guys later I'll like stand in front of it. I mean that it's bigger than me. Uh, we have a New York Knicks uh, piece. This was a collaboration. This is a collab <laughs> God, I'm trying to get in the camera. That one was uh, was a collaboration with uh, my photographer Brian Serta who typically is here shooting in the studio during quarantine. Um, obviously he's not here as much. Super talented dude. Uh, he had some sweet B-roll shots throughout New York. That was a subway shot, and then I did a New York Knicks logo on top of it. Our first collab, uh, also a very early painting of 2020. Um, and then we have the Audrey Hepburn piece, um, which I titled Netflix and Chill, because it actually was hanging in my apartment for a long time uh, over the TV. Um, so it's kind of a fun piece. Uh, swapped out some art in the apartment recently, and so that one is now for sale because everything is for sale, always. So again, tonight we're doing this. This is the focus. We are doing this Ichiro Suzuki card. I love. I think it's a great picture. It's awesome. 
we did one a couple, I don't know if it was a week ago, week and a half ago, here. <laughs> um, we've, we're playing with some different backgrounds. So that one's on cardboard, and that one was just kind of flicking and splattering paint for all the midtones. I didn't do any brush, zero brush on that. Um, I think it came out really cool. I'll go grab it for you, actually. So this um, is all just splatter paint with the stencil on top. Um, and then I cut it out. It was on actual cardboard, which I think is cool. Like, you know, cardboard cards, it's kind of fun. Uh, we have a few different backgrounds that we can play with. This being one of them. Today we're gonna do another portrait. I'll do more, more of my typical style of acrylic brush and then we'll do this spray paint on top, and then I'll cut that out, and we could put that also on any backgrounds. Um, Tony had a fantastic idea um, for the background, which I'm not sure if I'm gonna get to doing tonight or not, um, but I'm definitely gonna do the portrait part, and then over the weekend, um, uh, let's see, Alex Blake, I want that for the first pick in the fantasy draft. <laughs> nice. Um, over the weekend, I'm going to, once the each rows are both done, I will, oh yeah, teal. Yeah, I'll show you guys. I'll grab the teal background too. So we're going to do another uh, Ichiro portrait, cut that out, and then I might mess with more backgrounds either later tonight or tomorrow, but sometime over the weekend, I'm basically going to put it up online, I'm going to say this or this, you guys get to choose, and whichever one gets um, the most love on social media, that's the one that I will submit to Tops, and that card is going to launch uh, pretty soon actually on the July... 22nd, the day before opening day. So that's cool. Um, yes, so that's gonna be great. Let's see here. Uh, oh yeah, cardboard cutouts are their favorite players. Yeah, that's that's like a, you know, some, the cardboard cutouts are like life size sometimes, which is super cool. But yeah. Um, all right, I'm gonna go get, what's up Tim? Hey Mike, David. What's up, guys? Welcome. Krista, Jason Eggert, Team Teal. Awesome. Uh, yeah, no, I think the teal pops for sure. The teal definitely pops. Now, the backgrounds can also be interchangeable. We can have, we're going to be able to have some different combos. That's going to be fun. So I'm going to go grab some acrylic paints from back there. And um, we're going to start painting. And I will be looking at this, holding this as my reference card, and kind of studying that. It's also cool, this is the blank back, which is the artist reference card, still 130 point. These are rare, and I will not sell them. <laughs> People always ask for these, uh, they're so cool. But Topps gave me a couple of these um, for each player, which is just really cool. And I assume they gave some to each artist, but I don't know that for sure. All right, I'm gonna grab acrylics. Uh, Matt, you wanna pop in a second? Are you? <laughs> yeah, 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 it's just Andy, that is hilarious. Nice. I just got to throw a little. Nice. I mean, oh, wow. They actually can see me in the corner. That's really funny. Yeah, barely. Yeah, he's right up That's there. That's really funny. All right. So Matt's going to pop in. I don't know. Answer questions. Talk. Yeah. Yeah. Typewriter. A little typewriter action. What's up, everybody? How's everybody's Friday night going? Got, we're a little late tonight. It's uh, it's appropriate because we're you know Blake is painting Ichiro, so it's a West Coast stream tonight. So we're uh, it was more of a 10:53 start tonight. What's up, Irene? How's it going? Yeah, gags. I don't think tonight, but uh, I think definitely in the near future. I think tonight we're just gonna go Ichiro um, and original art. 
but definitely in the future. I love that idea. That's an awesome idea. What's up, Brian Abbott? Love that you shared uh, the fanny pack. That was awesome. Glad you got a Big Mac. That's super, do that's super dope. What's up, Andre? What's up, Tim? Gags. Scotty, how's it going? Michael, Jason. What's up, Grant? Donna? Hey, Alan. What's up, Edwin? Patrick? Brian? Octavio. Hey, Emma and Ron. How's it going? Hope everybody's having a great week. Um, how is the mouse? Jeff, I haven't seen the mouse since... Well, you left cheese out for it. Well, I left cheese out because I was eating the cheese. I didn't specifically leave the cheese out for the mouse to eat. Let's just clarify that. Um, so, <laughs> pre-beard. I just haven't shaved in a couple days. Grant, I need to... I definitely uh, need, need to shave. Yeah, Andy, the chat is going wild. It's great, it's great tonight. Alex, glad to hear... Ooh, you got a box of finest flashbacks. Good stuff, Alex. That was the one with the ones, right? The lottery? I think so. What's up, Scott? What if Ichiro is on here? Gags, that would be amazing. Uh, Brian Abbott, yes. Is the air working? Yes, the AC is working. Thank you for asking. Uh, Eric, we will do that. We will hold the Ichiro tops card up to the camera. You want to see the HTA logo? Yes. Uh, I will show you that for sure. What's up, Russ? Stan, uh, did I feed Max? I'm not the one feeding Max. If anyone's feeding Max, it's it's Blake. I'm really not good at pointing. It's Blake. Okay, wait. There it is. There it is. It is. It's hard to point backwards. It's Blake or Andy. What's up, Chris? What's up, Ellen? What's up, Luke? Hope uh, hope everyone's having a great great night, great week. It is noon in Japan. Rich, are you in Japan right now? Irene, I do too. This is so cool to see. I'm really, really excited for each up. Version 2. The Derek Jeter version. Uh, what's up, Moose Null? Blake needs to paint Mighty Mouse. No. 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 I actually might do that later tonight. No! 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 I don't want any Mighty Mouse. I, I don't want a giant mouse that'll just remind me of the time that the, the, the slightly smaller mouse attacked me, or pre prepared to attack me, didn't fully attack me, but was, was preparing. What's up, John Galindo? If you got the Jeter jersey from F. Dot, how would you hang it? Would you hang it or show it off? I'd probably get it framed and put it in my apartment. That would be. Wear it once. Wear it once, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Just be really careful and not go to an Italian restaurant and get pasta with red sauce while I was wearing it. Um, what would you do if you got if you, if you won the Jeter jersey? I or love that Jeter blue jersey. Sauce. Blue sauce, exactly. Just get a little little pinstripe of, I don't know, uh, Blue Man Group sauce. Yeah. Sure, let's go with that. Uh, let's see. Uh, Krista, no, didn't get rid of the mouse. We thought we had trapped the mouse in a box last night and we were going to take the box. Andy convinced us, Andy was convinced us that it was in the box. We were going to take the box. the box. Well, way to spoil the story, Blake. We were going to take the box, bring it outside, free the mouse. It was not in the box, as Blake just mentioned. So, um, Does anyone know if Topps is still going to do the home run challenge scratch-off cards? Good question, Gags. I've got a couple of those. So that's a really good question. Uh, did Eric want to see some, something? Oh, yes, else? he did. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Eric did want to see the... You can, um, you can actually... Oh, I can take it out of the... Yeah. Nice. Cool. Even just don't drop it or dent the corners. I'll do my best. <laughs> I have I have dropped cards before. Blake likes to call me the card dropper, which I think is a little unfair. I have in in his defense, I have dropped a fair amount of cards. So there's that home team tops advantage sticker rookie card. This is such a nice card. Um, what's up, Sacento? Just signed your Jackie, so that's coming to you, uh, coming to you shortly. That's right. Um, Eric, uh, let me know. I hope that that was a nice, a nice view of the uh, the sticker. I would love. This is such a. I think Alex can. I think you have one of these, don't you? Um, yeah, it was a lottery for the finest flashback. That's right, David. You are correct. I wish I had um, entered that. I just totally forgot. I, I definitely would have. Jay Marillo, um, the website, uh, Eric, I know Eric put it in the comments uh, a bit above, but I'm sure we can, 
we can toss that uh, in there another one more time. Ooh, it's Mike, also purple. Below the video description. Yes, it's also below the video description. Thank yeah. you, Blake. Purple Ichiro, I like I like that idea, Mike. Yeah. Need a Mad Max the mouse painting. I stand. I like that. That's a good idea. Like just fully Mad Max mouse. Yeah, I like it. The you know the. Uh, I like that. The Mad Max uh, with Charlie Theron. That was really good. I've never seen the original Mad Maxes with Mel Gibson, but I saw the remake. And it was really good. Uh, any update on sending cards in for art? Uh, Mr. Soon. B. Cardio. Very soon. You could say it's pretty big news. could say it is pretty big news. Of course, Alan. What are the next cards after Ichiro? So, Kevin, we, we only know one card after Ichiro. And that is, as Blake mentioned, Ted Williams. Get that reference card. I'm going to start painting, but why don't you just keep talking to people? Let's okay. See. All right. Well, Let's I, I want to get out of the way of your this. painting. No, 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 no. You, no, no. You, you stay there. I'll, I'll go I'll go this way. You go that way. Of that. Okay. How about that? Wait, wait. What about that? That's great. Perfect. All right. Look at that teamwork right there. Amazing. Oh, the home run challenge was canceled. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. I was definitely going to going to nail that. Using a, a chair for my ghetto. Oh, wow. Ghetto, okay. Uh, ghetto All right. Thing. I would not I would not recommend that, but it's, I think Blake knows what he's doing, so he's got fun. it. He's got it. Mr. Jameson, what's up? How's it going? Uh Yes, Michael, I did go through the other Bernie Williams cards. You did leave someone painted. Thank you so much. That was so generous. Uh that was awesome. That was absolutely awesome. I really appreciate it. And your signature is beautiful. And the card art was fantastic. So, much obliged. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let's see what we got going on. Companion card of Mighty Mouse. Rick, that's, that's a pretty good idea. What's up, James Hamilton? Did Blake gamble better once he got his Pete Rose card? Good I question. Did he did not, no. I feel like Pete Rose does not. It went downhill. Offer, it offer all, it kept game. going downhill. That's bad. That's bad luck for gambling. But I'll tell you what, I didn't lose more money than I was planning on losing. And that is the key. As long as you set your expectations, and you don't go beyond your means. Uh, what's up? Eat and rate it. K's trading. What's this trout jersey, Gags? I'm not sure what you mean. The trout jersey. Is Blake starting from scratch tonight with the painting? Uh, Mike, I believe he's got the stencil? I had the reference layer painted. Oh, he's got the reference layer painted. Which is just the black the black stencil layer I had put down on a poster board at the same time that I did that cardboard one. I did this, and then I just left this, and this is like this is nice. So I'm doing all the midtones starting from scratch. Yeah. Yeah. That's basically it. Cool. Awesome. Uh, Irene, Braid, I like that, I like that. What's up, Michael Pele? I hope I pronounced your last name correctly, if that is your last name. Uh, <laughs> Rips with Rob, I probably would cry too. Hey, Mr. Jameson, no, not too much. We started a bit late tonight, so Blake just started to uh, paint Ichiro. Uh, doo -doo -doo. <laughs> Stan, that's funny. Uh, uh, I don't think Blake met P Pete Rose while he was in Vegas. I didn't, but multiple people told me, like, oh, go to this casino or whatever. He's signing autographs. Yes, next Pete, Pete, yes, next time. Pete Rose will, will probably still be in Vegas next time. We're there. Uh, Matt Hansen, can you get one of Blake's business cards? Um, yeah, probably. Might be able to make that happen. Uh, feel free to DM me. Sacento. Oh, the Independence Day and Image Variation. Nice. Those are awesome cards. If you want to send those to us for a trade, I'm, I'm open to it. So. Oh, the site is down for the Homer Run cards. Okay, that's not great. Uh, selling Homer Run Challenge cards for sale. Okay. What's up, Geoff or Jeff Heinrich? How is Ichiro from the drop? Octavia, what do you mean? What do you say? How is Ichiro from the drop? I'm not sure if I understand yeah. that question. I don't know. Yeah. He's good. 
He's good. He's doing well. One painting, one painting. Emma and Ron. Uh, has a Jackie you don't have. Yes, Jason, that is pretty amazing, considering your Jackie collection, which is pretty amazing. Yeah, Alex, I thought you did. That's such an awesome card. Oh, David. That's a Tell bummer. Jason Eggert, he's up in the pipeline. Jason, you're up in the pipeline. Uh, that's pretty big news, yeah. Finished. What's up, Nick? Tim, thank you so much. That is so, so kind of you. I appreciate that. Hey, will you plug the, um, uh, the Mo autos that are available on the website? Absolutely. So, everybody, there are still Mariano Rivera autographed cards by Blake Jameson available on the site. Starting at $99? Starting at $99, which is really a phenomenal deal. Um, you know, it's a fantastic deal. It's a it's a great card. There is a Fanny on Mo, so that's really cool. Um, the red auto for 99 looks awesome. There are other Mo autos available, I believe. And I think if people want to be added to the Fanny wait list, I think there's a couple Oh, wow. Okay. Email couple. tests. Email tests at blakejameson.com yeah. if you want to be added to the Pretty fanny sure. I think wait we have list. four fanny packs left. Wow. I think. That's awesome. I think okay. It's four. I think it's four. But email tests. Yes. Email tests, email and tests. Uh, she's the expert, and she will let you know what is going on. Why is black not painting on a flat surface? Oh, Blake. Uh, <laughs> Typo, uh, typo, trying typo. Trying, trying something, something new. new, Eric. Good question. Good it's, question. Uh, it's I, weird to me, yeah. to be honest. It's weird. I prefer to paint on flat surfaces, but we're just trying something different. Yeah. Bob Ross could do it, so I could do it. Yes, absolutely, Mr. Jameson. Absolutely. And everybody, um, subscribe to those back pages. He's awesome. Sure Check out his videos. Um, Derek, I, am, I think so. I will double check. I will double check. Ooh, Gags, picks for AL and NL Rookie of the Year. AL, Robert. NL, I want to say Mackenzie Gore, but I just don't know if he's going to get throw enough innings to win. Um, but I'm going to stick with Mackenzie Gore because I think he's, he's so, yeah, if he'll get enough PT. Uh, he's so talented. So if he does make... 10 starts, 12 starts. I mean, there's 60 games, so I guess 12 starts uh, and throws 60 innings. Uh, I mean, yeah, he could definitely win NL Rookie of the Year, which would be cool. Okay, Rose signs at the store between Mandalay Bay and Luxor. Thank you, Vito. Thank you. Um, did you go to Pawn Stars, Blake? Uh, no, but I have been there. And no. Oh, you've painted for him? Yep. That's oh, that's cool. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, so, no. They had a thing. Okay. They had a thing? thing? Wait, what thing? No, I have a thing right now. Oh, you have a thing right now? I have a thing right now. That's baseball stuff. Okay. Okay. Did you go through the Jose Canseco car wash? I did not. Did not. Next time. Definitely going to do that next time. And we're probably going to bring some Canseco cards if he's there, just in case. Okay. okay. Blake is so we're up. Doing a, this is a. Yeah, we'll sit here for a second. Yeah. All right. We got a lot of Mo Reds left. So for anybody that buys a Mo Red tonight, randomly from any autos, any. Let's see, I want to make sure that I do this right. Okay, China Bam, hitting the sweet spot. Man, it's hard signing baseballs, like because it's round. Yeah. So I kind of got this like, which actually is kind of cool. So I'm going to give this red baseball to a random person who buys a red Mo tonight. Because we're trying to push those a little bit. We had a little bit of a discussion internally with the team. Uh, some people wanted to do a discount code. I didn't want to do a discount code because I don't want people to like think that that happens a lot and then like wait to buy autos. But this which 
Granted, it's got some spaces in it, but it's also kind of sick. Like, I actually wouldn't mind if that was my auto. So I just signed this. This is the first baseball I've ever, ever autographed in red. Oh, don't use a Sharpie. What should I use? All right, well, somebody says don't use a Sharpie on a ball. No, I don't think a paint pen. I see a lot of baseball players using a ballpoint pen. What if I spray like, um, like a, uh, what is it? Like a varnish on top of this. I don't think it would spread then. Yeah, rips with Rob says don't discount. That's what I think. It will bleed. Uh, you gotta use a ballpoint pen on um, balls, preferably blue. Well, I was going red because red Mo's is what I wanna move. So we did 500 red Mo's to begin with, which is a lot. I know that Mo's not the most popular player in the set. And that card is kind of a weird card in terms of like, you know, he's not on the baseball field. Anyways, if anyone wants to buy a red Mo tonight, and if only one person buys it, they're also going to get this ball. Side note, disclaimer, it might bleed, but I think it's dope. I will spray like a adhesive on the top of it, or not adhesive, a varnish. Anyways, this is me trying to make everyone happy because I don't want to discount my stuff, but I still want to push sales. So there's the ball. Now I'm back to painting and masking the tap back in. I will actually even, I'm gonna date this as well with more red Sharpie because we're already committed. Let's see, where should I date it? Where do you, where do, where do you date a ball? If you hit the sweet spot, it's got all this other stuff. How do we do that? Uh, what would you think? Underneath, maybe like down there? Um, yeah. Like there? Yeah. Or that something? Seems like a good spot. Okay. If you write like seven, seventeen, twenty, one of your favorite words on it too, or something like that, mm -hmm. or just like do like a cry. I, mean, I don't. Know. You can do whatever you want. I'm gonna put Mo Companion Ball. Nice. <laughs> it's hard to fit it. <laughs> okay, kind of did. Ball. There we go. Mo Companion Ball. Oh god, let's see if I can turn it. Mo companion ball seven seven seventeen. Anyways, I'm just trying to make everyone happy, man. That's what I want to do. Um, so this rare one of one Sharpie red auto may or may not bleed, but I will put a, a varnish on top of it. Anybody that buys a Mo Red Auto tonight, ninety nine bucks. Um, I'm gonna pick a random one. They're going to get this ball. Matt's going to pick a random one. He's the random number generator man. I just... People are really thinking that the blue, uh, blue ballpoint pen would be a better option. Well, what are we going to do with this one, then? Go throw around in the park? And do we have a... Okay, fine. 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 Will you give me another baseball? We can even give out two. No. No. People don't want this? Fine. No, people want it. Uh, no, just no. People are saying it's going gonna, it's gonna to smudge. Okay. Do you need a pen now? Uh, I do. Okay. There's a blue ball from there. This is black. This is blue. Uh, HT3. Okay. Yeah, yeah, first. I'll grab it. Yeah. All right. Okay, guys. Oh, oh, oh. Here, here. Okay. Here. We heard you. But, yeah. I mean, I think the red is cool. Oh, people don't people, like it. No, no, no. Some people like it. Well, some people don't. You well, know, it's like I guess I guess we'll like see. Everything. There's a mix. Guess we'll see. All right. Well, hopefully this auto is as cool as the last one. Man, it's hard to sign balls. Still cool. Okay, and then where do we decide? Okay, so we got blue ball point. There you guys go. You guys get what you want. I know it's bright because of all these lights, but blue ball point. And I am gonna write. Let's see here. So there's that. We'll do it. Where did I write it on the last one? This is confusing. Uh, I just want to figure out where to write Mo Companion Ball. I think right here. Okay, got it. Seven. Seventeen. Two thousand twenty. Mo. Companion ball. Writing ball on it on a ball is probably irrelevant, but anyways. No, that one that one we're gonna throw around oh, in the park. Okay, tight. 
We're gonna go have a home run derby in, in Grand Central in Central Park once I love it. quarantine's nice. over. Great. Sounds good. All right. Cool. There you guys go. First blue ballpoint one. Nice. Right, stay awesome on it. Fine. Yeah, we'll do that too. I love it. I love we're gonna, it. We're, I'm just going to write whatever you guys want on it, but, you <laughs> know, okay. <laughs> the ball's going to be uh, totally uh, stuffed full of, of number. When you, when you po box on there, when you team hot play it on Shh. there, I'm sorry. Don't I'm give them ideas. Okay. Okay, here we go. We got stay awesome. We got the auto, the date, Mo companion ball. Bam, that's done. Okay, whoever buys Mo red tonight chance to get this ball I mean if one person buys it you have a hundred percent chance if there's five people to buy it you got a big chance so anyways that's going down uh, okay back to regularly scheduled painting I'm gonna get Matt back in here I just want to paint but I also want to keep everyone happy and since we didn't do a discount code because I don't I'm kind of anti discount codes because I believe the artist should charge uh, you know full price for their art uh, it's not an easy career, so um, that's where we're at. All right, I'm gonna go back and paint. Matt, you want to pop back in here and and do the comments and stuff? Absolutely, great. Okay, we're on to the blues. All right, all right, all right. Well, hope everybody's enjoying their Friday still. Yeah, what else do you want to see Blake, or I mean, if you do want to see Blake add anything to the Stay Awesome Mo? I think that at this point, you only get a vote if you actually bought a ball. Oh, I, li I buy, like that. If you buy a Mo. I like it, I you, like it. You don't then have you to can... prove it, just say, yo, I just bought a Mo. I would love if you add blank. Five. I love it, I love then it. Then we'll do it. Okay, we'll do it. okay, okay. That's fair? So that, that's totally fair. I love that, I love that. So uh, everyone just, just heard Blake. People. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Everyone just heard Blake. Um, but I'll just reiterate. So, if you do buy a Mariano Rivera yeah. Red, ninety nine dollars auto, um, just let us know in the comments, and you can make a request. You can make a request for what you would like Blake to add to the ball. Um, you know, hey Irene, what would you like on there, Irene Vaughn? Awesome. Um, we 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 we're not gonna put people's <laughs> names on it though. <laughs> okay. She would, I don't think she would do it. But. I mean, I, I really like that. Um, Irene wants F twenty twenty on there. F twenty. Like not P twenty twenty. No, I think it's more like a, a, a state of the world type F, like F twenty, like just the the okay. letter F. Hey, she bought. Okay. Yeah, Irene, we trust you absolutely. Um, okay, Blake is is down to add that. Um. Stan, you'll take the red one. I mean, Where's yeah. Where's reference card? Uh, where did I? Did I? I, I got it. Oh, you got it. Okay, great. Um, yeah, Stan, I think a lot of people are with you that they would take the red one. Um, James, yeah, no, unfortunately, this is just for tonight. But we'll de we're definitely going to do... Did he buy one previously? Yes, yes. All right, well, we'll do something cool for We'll him. do something cool for, uh, for everyone who bought... Uh, a mo previously for sure. Um, gags. He sends us the receipt. Yeah. We'll send him. We'll send him a little something. Okay. Yeah. It's not gonna be a ball, but it's gonna okay. be something. A little, little something, something. Little something, something. Yeah. So James, email me Matt at blakejameson dot com. Yeah, Grant, you can email me too. Absolutely. Ah, oh, Scotty. Well, to auto, you know that might be a really nice investment if he uh, if he pans out. Ooh, Kevin signed Big Herd. I love it. I love it. Tim, I'm with you. Yeah, 2020. This has been one heck, one heck of a year already, and it's just barely halfway over. Um, I feel you, Kevin. I feel you. Douglas, awesome. Great stuff. Hey, if you want us to add something to the ball, just let us know. Um, nice. Ichiro, favorite player of all time. Good stuff. James, fantasy league winner. Uh, that's funny. What's up, Adam? Maybe 30. I love it, Irene. I love it. We're definitely going to do something. Um, some some type of giveaway for Ichiro would be my guess. Not definitely. I, I, I imagine we'll we do something. We have a sick giveaway. We've got a sick giveaway. Okay. Sick okay. Giveaway. I didn't want to. We have a sick giveaway. I didn't want to jump the gun. So 
Um, we've got a sick giveaway. Eric, you can always email me, of course. Um, Tim, yeah, absolutely. Email me. Absolutely. David, feel free to email me too. Um, 2020, am I right? Chris, that's pretty funny. Rick, yeah, go for it. Matt at BlakeJameson.com. I'm, I'm around. Um, and I've caught up on all the giveaway emails so far. So, you know, it won't take me five days to respond this time. So that's that's a, a plus. Um, yeah, Irene, Blake is using paint. No, he doesn't only spray paint. He's uh, he's versatile. I like it so far. Getting there. Yeah. Um, what, Mike, good question. What do you think of the MLB rules changes like DH and the NL runner on second base and extra innings? Uh, I'm definitely more okay with the DH and the NL. Um, I mean, I do love NL ball, and I love the strategy involved with no DH and the double switches and pitch, uh, you know, pin your bench is, is significantly more important uh, and valuable in the NL than the AL. Um, so, I mean, I would like the NL to return to no DH in the future, um, but I'm much more upset about the runner on second in extra innings. I think that's um, kind of, I mean, I don't want to say ridiculous. Um, I, I just, I think it totally changes. I mean, it, it does. It totally changes the game. Um, and yeah, I think part of the beauty with baseball is there's no clock and there's no time limit. And throwing a runner on second base and extras just feels to me like they're trying to end I mean they are trying to end the game as quickly as possible um, but it just seems like the antithesis of baseball really so I, I really hate that rule um, and I know they were trying that out in the lower minors if I'm not mistaken so it's not like this is a new a totally new concept but um, yeah I, I'm not a huge fan of that what does everybody else think about uh, particularly DH in the NL. Fan, not a fan, sort of in the middle. Tess, how about one winner for tonight's purchases and one for people on the stream that previously purchased? Bam. I love that idea. Bam. Yes. Good. Great idea, Tess. Good. Tess, always coming in with the fantastic ideas. Okay. So okay. Yeah. Red is the OG, so the red goes to the OG buyers. Red goes to the OG buyers. Blue goes to the new buyers. Awesome. So now we've got something for everyone. Tess, great call. Good stuff. Tess is just crushing it. Okay, we got to write F2020 on there for... <laughs> for Irene, yes. Okay. Absolutely. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to do that very... It's going to be very small. It's going to be a small one. Very small. small one. Very small. Let's see. Yeah. i got to find a good placement for it. Yeah. Let's see. Um, okay, by the Rawlings? Yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah, or the, by the China? There we go. Right oh, that's a this, good spot. Right oh, in, in there, there's a little, inside. there's like a little alcove on the, 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 I don't know if that's the right use of alcove, but sure. Um, and Blake is, is doing that in there. It's, it's, it's kind of great. How about that? Oh, that looks like 120. It's a, it's like a, like a the little mark, like, you know, the little mark up there, like F. 20? Oh, I see. I understand. I understand. I understand. Okay, so yeah, we yeah, did yeah. this. How about that? In the MLB logo, because we didn't get our full season, yes. and we have a bunch of problems. Yes, and no minor league baseball this year. Exactly. A bunch of problems. Which is a huge bummer. A bunch of huge problems. bummer. Okay. So, Great job, Irene. Good idea. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Yeah, Mr. Jameson, we will have two, two winners tonight. I think that's an awesome idea. Great yeah. job, Tess. Yeah, thank Ta you. Tess, crushing it. And then everybody wins. Like, I mean, not everybody wins, but two yeah. people win. It's a win. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a and then two people win. Win, win. Um, Literally a win-win. <laughs> yeah, Alex, you're gonna love the Ichiro giveaway, and Irene, you're gonna love the Ichiro giveaway too. It's gonna be really exciting. Uh, MLB fans from card and Ichiro is a cutout. How about some cardboard cutout fans in the background of Ichiro painting? Interesting idea, Emma, Emma and Ron. Interesting idea. Krista, nice. I will I will say. Krista says, looking good so far. Thank you. All right. Oh. Yeah, Cespedes does have to play somewhere. So NL, uh, the DH is huge for the Mets. That's really big. I'm with you, Joe. I think it's one of the dumbest rule changes ever. Uh, I'm 100% with you. 
Tess is the best. Agreed. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I get it. It's to protect the pitcher's gags, but I, I just don't like the rule. Like, expand the roster even more and don't make that the rule. That would be my 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 two cents there. Yeah, rips with Rob. If it was a runner on second after 13 innings, I'd be much more okay with it. You know? Instead of just 10th inning. Instead of the 10th inning. Yeah, at least then you'd get three innings, 10th, 11th, 12th, to, you I mean, know, to play it out the way baseball is normally played. Um, since 2018, Eric, thank you. I knew it was a couple years ago. Yeah. But that wasn't all levels of the minors. I believe that was just like rookie ball and short, like short season ball. I don't think that A ball or double A AA or triple A, I don't think they were doing that. I thought it was just... Eric would definitely know. Eric definitely, He's yes. Those back pages, he, I'm sure. his. His, I will go. I will side with him. I, I will too. I'm not going to bet against Eric on anything baseball related. His baseball knowledge is very, very impressive. Um, so, let a fan be the runner on second, David. That would be hilarious. Um, <laughs> gags, you in your beer league? Yeah. Okay, Adam Peters. He's a fan of the new rules. Why, Adam? Tell us why. <laughs> <laughs> Robo umpires. Yes or no, Jake? Um. For the strike zone, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes, absolutely. For everything else, no. But the strike zone, yes. Let's get robots in there. I mean, there'll still be a human behind the plate, but they will have... Like the replay. Yeah, like they'll have the replay, and they'll be like, they'll be buzzed. Was that a strike or a ball? So they are not making that call themselves. So robot umpires for strikes and balls, 100%. Hate the NLDH. Yeah, Scotty, I, like long-term, I'm with you. I love... National League Baseball. It's so interesting to see just, you know, all, all the moves and strategy. Why do leagues have two different rules? That's a great question, Blake. Why, why, why is that? Because baseball's weird. I, I don't know. There's no logical explanation. Josh, yeah, that's, that's exactly. It, it is uneven and wrong, and it does. Like if some, if, if some soccer leagues had like, oh, if you score from outside the penalty box, it's two points. Yeah. Like that would be confusing. It'd be it's like half the pl- – t- like – yeah, Isn't that like not it would be weird sense? if if the or rules, like some if the teams rules got like four subs instead of three. Yeah, in the World Cup, like the the rules just changed compared to all the other competitions. Yeah, it would be weird. It would be very weird. Um, it, 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 so it's strange. I, I don't I don't know. I think the DH was established in the eighties in the AL, but I'm not positive. Oh, Eric, help me out. When was the DH <laughs> established in the uh, AL? All right. Lifelong Astros fan, David. <laughs> it's funny how that, how that happens. Uh, no DH, Scott. I feel you. Yeah, I feel you, Krista. That makes sense. Frank, you're not alone there. Yes, Tess. So people who purchased previously should forward their receipt to me, Matt at BlakeJamison.com. Absolutely. Great call, Tess. I will take care of that. (laughs) Gags third ball. (laughs) Rick, you're right. The Nats are champs. Moose, I like that more than putting a runner on second. 13 of 99. Great stuff, Marty. Scott, yes, give me uh, just forward uh, that email to me, Matt at BlakeJameson.com. Absolutely. What's up, Nick Ross? I'm a member of the tribe. Uh, Sorry, trying to play catch up here. Frank Murphy, you are too kind. You are too kind. I definitely would uh, would pay minor leaguers a living wage if I was commissioner of MLB. The owners might not like that one. Uh, uh, Stan, I did. He did not. He did not get lucky in Vegas uh, after the Peter Rose card. Unfortunately. Um, yeah, I'm really bummed that there's no minor league baseball this year. It's really a bummer. I'm with you. I'm with you. 
Let's see. Yeah, Ozai. Yeah, no Dominguez this year is a bummer. Gareth Miller, uh, giving away some balls. So if you previously bought a Mariano Rivera auto, uh, Blake has signed a sweet ball in blue. And uh, forward your uh, receipt to me, Matt, at BlakeJameson.com. Um, and if you're buying a ball, uh, a Mariano Rivera auto, red auto tonight, you're also eligible to win a red autographed Blake Jameson baseball. Um, so, yeah, good luck. Yeah, Jason, I'm not a big fan of the three batter rule for relievers either. I don't think that's going to speed the game up significantly. <laughs> Thanks, Gags. I agree. We do have great ideas in here. Mets have no one that can bunt. JD Day, like Jeff McNeil? I mean, he's such a good hitter, you probably don't want him to bunt. Rosario? Can Rosario bunt? I have no idea. Yeah, Mike, it does. Second does change in the game. You're gonna bring you're gonna bunt every single time now and hope for a sack fly to, to get that one run lead. And then I imagine yeah, it's it'll be interesting to see what happens. Um, if Blake picks the cardboard, each row will eat the brown cardboard around him. Thoughts about it? Good question, John. I think we're gonna ask fans what they prefer for the each row. Um, put the manager on second. That's funny, Moose. Robots like tennis, Mike. I do really enjoy that, like that zoom tracker when they like go down on the tennis ball. And it's like. And it's like the lines right here. And it's like, bloop, it was out by two millimeters. I really enjoy that. What is it, like the eagle view? There's a name for it that I, I can't remember. Oh, it was in double A last season? Thank you, Donna. Okay. Maybe triple A wasn't? Maybe I'm just totally wrong, and it was in the entire minors last year. Should play the Yankees 60 times. <laughs> that would not work out too well for the Mets, Irene. Joe West dump every game. Oh, okay, Blake. Well, which uh, Banksy's artwork on the New York subway? No, Stan. I did not see that. Is that recent? Fascinating. I know Blake loves Banksy. I doubt that Banksy came to New York during the war. Yeah, I would be surprised as well. But I did actually see Banksy's artwork um, in Europe, in Amsterdam, in November, which was really really cool. Um, that was an awesome experience. All right. Oh, 1973. Wow, Eric, thank you. That is way earlier than I thought. I am a little bit behind on the comments. I'm trying to catch up right now. Mr. Jameson, that was that was before I was born. Um, I just want to watch baseball too, Gags. I'm with you. Chenming Wong, I actually saw his MLB debut. I was at Yankee Stadium for it. Blake, you want to hop in here? Uh, I want to uh, show people some of the paintings. That are oh, here. let's do it. Ab so, so where we're at is we're letting this dry. This is the acrylic uh, mid-tones. We're going to hit this with stencils. But uh, in the meantime, just want to show people like physically what is up, what was added to the site tonight. Uh, Frank, I'm not sure if I did get that one. I will ask Tony. Thank you do some walk bys. Absolutely. So we have this uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. Let me get out of the way. This one was painted in 2019. Painting number 119 of 2019. This is the back. Signed, dated, all the info. You know, I did the sides of this like gold. So it doesn't have a frame, but it's got like a chrome wrap. So it's very, very much ready to hang. And I really, I like it. This was kind of done on spec when I was trying to get into some soccer portraits. And then I used this to show some NYCFC players that ended up commissioning me to paint for them, which is great. That's exactly the point of it. Um, anyways, so this is one of them that is on the site tonight. 24 by 36, movie poster size, Cristiano Ronaldo, one of one, original Blake Jameson. That one's on the site. Got one more, hold on. So this one is cool, it's interesting. This is uh, the first of its kind. It's a New York Knicks piece. 
that I did on top of my photographer, Brian Serta, took a bunch of photos for me, both in the studio and also just around the city. We printed this, we, so we printed it on canvas, so it still is like, it's a regular canvas. I haven't signed a number the back, I have to do that still. Um, and then I did this Nick stencil on top. First time Brian and I have collabed. Uh, this one's actually, I made it very affordable. This is a, very, a pretty simple stencil, and I probably will do, I'll use this stencil more, so I priced this one at a thousand bucks, and I'm gonna give, I don't know, 250 bucks or something to Brian. I already pay him to take the photos, so he's already been paid, but I'm gonna pay him extra because I love taking care of other artists and supporting other artists. So that's another one that's available one more time. Nick's New York Subway. This one, pretty big, 24 by 36, or sorry, 24 by 48. Audrey Hepburn here. If you look closely, she's also here and she's also upside down here and upside down there. So there's actually four Audrey Hepburns on this. Um, super fun piece. This was painted, I see a date on the back. I still have to number this and sign it, but it's uh, December 30th, 2018. So this is actually pretty, pretty quick after I moved to New York, I painted this. So this is one of the early paintings in my New York studio. Kind of a fun piece, very big. This one sat above my TV for a long time in my apartment, so I named it Netflix and Chill, but uh, before that it was called Over the TV, or you could call it Audrey, Audrey Hepburn. Anyways, kind of a fun one. Also up on the site right now. Probably can't even fit on the full screen. It can't. But it's no. So this one is huge. It's uh, 48 inches tall, 72 inches long. Like most people in New York probably don't have a spot to put this. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we'll have two of us hold this. Let's do a lot. So this is uh, this is awesome. Muhammad Ali. That's okay, I yeah. see that. Alright, well here, we'll put that down for a yeah, second. Yeah. There we go. So it's a uh, Muhammad Ali iconic Amazing. knockout. Um, this was kind of a new, new style for me where I basically, I did the stencil and then I put the, I put like tape over the top of it. So you see all these stripes is, I put the stencil down and then and I like painted it. And then I put tape down, I put the stencil back on, and I painted it in different colors. And I kept adding and adding and adding to it, um, which was interesting and kept doing the stencil. So we have like, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's a really cool uh, kind of abstract piece, but if you look close, obviously it's Muhammad Ali. Um, I love this piece. Honestly, if this doesn't sell and this goes in my next house, hopefully I get a house that's big enough to uh, hang something this awesome oh, and big for sure. And uh, I'm down for that too, but this one's also on the site. Not cheap, but also uh, huge and uh, not cheap to ship either. Yes. So that's the other one. Well, I would argue a great investment. And, I think, it's, uh, I mean, I think all know, my art's a great investment. I do too, I do too. Yes. I, I mean, it's a great, it's an amazing piece. I mean, yeah. Muhammad Ali, like one of the most iconic athletes of the 20th century. True. And um, I mean, it looks dope. I, I think it's an awesome piece. And yeah. It's maybe my favorite of your pieces. Wow. I think the first time I even walked into the studio, I was like, oh my God, that Muhammad Ali piece is amazing. I'm like 99% sure I said that. Yeah, I so. think you did. Yeah. Yeah, he likes it. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's that. So all of those are just up on uh, proathleteportraits.com. What's up, Lolo? See Lauren's on here too, tuning in. Um, yeah, so that's where we're at. We're gonna wait till, this is probably almost dry. I gotta do the stencils on top of it and then I'm gonna let you guys choose between this one and this one and see which one we do tops. Uh, 
Let's see. Let's see the tray. Feels good. Uh, all right. Let's see. I don't know where those stencils are. Ichiro stencils. Oh, I also grabbed the Willie May stencil. So this is gonna be the white layer we're gonna do first. This will be the black layer. I'm actually thinking on this one I might do, instead of doing the black layer black, I might do it super dark blue, just because I feel like it. <laughs> and then I accidentally grabbed this Willie Mays, which I love. Uh, I think this piece came out so sick. Guys, you're awesome. There are these tops. All right, I think the paint is dry enough. some gloves. Turn on the exhaust fan. Sure. Crank it all the way to the right. Thank you. Crank it up to 11. Who knows what movie that's from? Oh. Sounds like something Arnold Schwarzenegger would say. What movie is that from? Spinal Tap. Uh, this yeah. is spi You've never seen this as Spinal Tap? No. You would love it.
Thank you, everybody. Just, uh, Okay, so we're always learning. Today I learned that when I paint vertical, I, I taped the top, I should have taped the bottom also, and probably the sides. Uh, because when I was peeling off the stencil, the paper was just kind of flopping. So, that's what we learned. But we can correct it before the black layer, which is great. I also got, I just got a notification from my calendar. Ichiro art is due in four minutes to tops. Because <laughs> it's due tomorrow. Uh, it's okay. I'm gonna give, uh, I'm still gonna put like a 24 or 48 hour voting window. Okay, okay. I'm gonna send, I'll send tops both of them tomorrow so. when it's due. But I will let the internet decide and then I'll tell them, we're running with this one because that's what YouTube says. Anyways, it was just funny to see like, Ichiro due four minutes from now. <laughs> Ridiculous. Totes ridiculous. All right. What's up, Brett? Nice, fellow Marin County fan. That's awesome, man. Yeah, I grew up in Novato. I love Marin. It's gorgeous. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, what is up, guys? Two ninths of Slipknot. Slip, I actually, I used to like Slipknot. I mean, I don't dislike them now. I just, I like them a lot in high school. <clears throat> Darth Matt. Yep. Bane. Totally. Get Matt a crown. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, let's see. Is it like into this Bane persona? You know? I'm yeah, I see that. Show me Oscar. I can't do a Bane voice. I can't do a Bane voice. I'm sorry. I'm just, I, I haven't practiced. It's been a long time. Andy, can you do a Bane voice? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe I'll run the mask. <clears throat> Maybe you're wearing a mask. <clears throat> oh, I, oh, I can't do a Bane voice at all. It's terrible. This is terrible, my Bane impression. You should make fun of me for how it's terrible like this is. It's like an Irish, it's like an Irish Bane. If he was like, if he was like a featherweight UFC fighter, oh yeah.
love that movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like the world's worst pirate impression. Yeah. Oh, we hear, uh, Krista hears some Connery for a second. I can actually do a little bit of Sean Connery. Oh, you can, huh? Yeah. Matt says he can do a decent Sean Connery. You might have to make him prove it. I might need more practice. I'm going back in. Do it. You guys remember, I'm going to remind you every time I paint, if you're doing portraits and you're doing stencils, the most important thing that you can possibly do, make sure the eyes line out. You get the eyes, everything else is golden. You mess the eyes up, forget about it. Hello, Money Penny. That's not a very good Sean Connery. I'll work on it. I'll be back. I'll be back. to peel up a little bit of the stencil. Shit, they got stuck. Yeah. Okay. There's a slight, there's a big delay. 
Yes. Yeah. Hey. What are you doing? It's a big delay. Like in Step Brothers when they pop out from the dual interview. Yeah. Hello, Hello lady. <laughs> exactly. I think I can open this Pam Pam. Exactly. I think I can open this Pam Pam. Pam. Is it in here? So here's the portrait. Oh. It's gonna be clean. So now, so the next step will be to cut. I will cut this all out, and then we'll still we'll put it on a background. I'll do it right now. I'll do it right now, so you guys can see. Shabby Lonzo. So we're just cutting out around it. Yeah, pretty big news for you, number two. Yeah, I don't know, number two is sick. But Let's keep in mind, go. this is the kind of style Let's I've been doing for a long. I've dip, this is what I do. That's the cool. other one was an experiment, so. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, it makes sense for sure. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff I've been And should we remind them about the balls? The balls that are dropping? Yeah, let's uh, remind them of the balls. Okay, so we did two signed baseballs tonight. They're right over there. One is in a red Sharpie. Okay. One is a red Sharpie. We have 717 Companion Ball Mo Red Sharpie. I'm gonna use a varnish on this so I hope it doesn't bleed. The other one is a ballpoint pen, blue ballpoint. We have Stay Awesome. We have a 717 Mo Companion Ball. And we have F2020 <laughs> on there. If you buy a Mo Red Auto tonight on my website, proathleteportraits.com, during the stream, so you guys have to, whenever this ends, uh, if you pick up a red Moato tonight and you have not bought one, like 
tonight, then you're in the mix. A random person is also going to get this signed baseball. If you already bought a red auto, but you're on the stream tonight, all you got to do is email your receipt to matt at blakejameson.com, and then you're in the mix for this red auto. So we're giving away two signed balls tonight. They're one of ones. I mean, there's two of them, but they're different. So they're one of ones. And uh, yeah, we're trying to push some Mo autos. We got a bunch of them left. And uh, we would like to see them move. So that's the thing that we're doing. Just cutting out this, uh, this thing. Crotch piece, crotch relic. Okay. Mm. Oh, this is gonna be a beaut. Guys, this is gonna be so sick. We're cutting all this out right now. Here we go. Trying to do it up here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, quick, everyone screenshot. <laughs> okay. And we got the uh the remainder. And that was pretty tight. Okay, so we had the the first one. Second one. I don't know exactly how we'll place it yet, but something like that. And I'll still do like, um, I'm gonna still do the card elements, you know, the, uh, I'll put this, the Ichiro Suzuki at the bottom, the Lo Mariners logo. I think I'll put that gold thing on there, this thing on there. I'll still do that, but, um, that's where we're at. So screenshot that too if you want. Here we go. There, perfect screenshot. Uh, yeah, I like it, guys. Yeah, number two, number two, number two. So I mean, it's crazy because when I did this, I loved it. I mean, I do love this a lot. This is a fun, 
experiment. But man, this just came out so clean. I'll leave it up to the internet. It's fun. It's cool. Boop, boop. Also, we could do... Have this purple and gold background. Oh god, it's falling down. You know, so we could do something like that. Which is nice. This has some nice text detail to it. Oh. Oh. Did you did you do with the the, uh, the gold? The uh, oh yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's that's also nice. That's really nice. That's really nice. I have an idea for one more background. Actually, not me. Tony had an idea for a dope background. So I am going to do another background over the weekend. Um, just to let you guys choose, but that's where we're at. Or we could do the dual portrait. And bam. That would be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you want to show uh, the uh, original art again one more time? Yeah, they fine. know. They've seen it. They have seen the art. They know. They know. They know. They know. Space Needle in the background, that's another good idea. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. I had a blast as always. It was actually very challenging, more so than I thought it would be uh, to paint vertical. Because I, I always paint horizontal. So Tony had an idea, and I'll tell you this, it is flag related. And I loved the Mark McGuire flag background. So doing a flag related background could be tight, could be tight. Maybe the space needle cutting up the middle, and then we have two relevant flags. If you know, you know. That could be really cool. Um, anyways, those are uh, those are gonna be the options. I'll be posting them over the weekend. You guys will be able to tweet about it, get your opinion in. But I'm with you guys. I see a lot of number twos. Um, I do like number two a lot. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, don't forget, buy a Mo Auto tonight. Proathleteportraits.com. 1216. Tell you what, I'll extend this until 1 a.m. my time. So for 45 more minutes, if people want to buy a red Mo Auto, they will have a chance at this ball. If they have already bought a red Mo Auto, send the receipt to Matt at BlakeJameson.com. You'll get a chance at this ball. And uh, the ball's will drop. Just kidding. I don't want to drop them. They'll fall on my computer. They're pretty cool. I'm also learning that it's hard to sign baseball, so I got to like practice this. Um, it's difficult. Also, if there's like some paint specs on this ball, that's just because they're relics and I painted tonight. But I was wearing gloves, so it's probably fine. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, always fun. Just a reminder, we've switched to Monday through Friday. So Monday through Friday, 10.23 p.m. Typically, I know tonight I was late. I'm sorry, that's rare. Um, but I'll be back on Monday. Over the weekend, I still am actually going to be here at the studio, and I will be working. I, I might end up doing some live streams, whether it's on Twitter, it's here on YouTube, or wherever. I might just film. I might just paint and not film. Um, not committing to anything, but I will definitely be back on Monday, 10.23 p.m., Thank you guys so much. Stay tuned on Twitter uh, and on Instagram, actually, at Instagram at Athlete Portraits. I'm going to put them up on both of those, Twitter and Instagram, and just tally the votes, and we'll see which one wins. Obviously, from tonight, I feel like two is, uh, is a big favorite, which makes sense because that's a style that I've been working on perfecting for the last few years versus the other one, which is very experimental. But it's always fun to challenge yourself as an artist. Um, and try new things and I appreciate that like you guys stick with me and hang out while I get to do that so thank you guys so much stay awesome